Welcome back, it's Melanie or She Shed Scrappers. So today I am back with a one page layout using the Gamer Collection from Photo Play. I bought this collection while I was in Florida at the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo um, and kind of trying to use up some of the things that I got there this month or at least dig into them because that was back in May. So I am once again going to border my layout. Um, I've been thinking about this and the reason I think I do it is when I only have a few photos, it kind of limits or cuts down on the space that I have to embellish or feel like I have to embellish, I guess. Um, so I did choose the um, controller paper, a busier paper. And so I am going to actually um, separate it from my white base using this orange. I just went into my stash and found some cardstock uh, from one of the books that I have. And so I am actually cutting down the white a little bit more even, um, and then decided to gut the orange paper just so I have it to back my photos as well. Um, it actually matched really well with the orange of the controllers. So once I get that done, I am going to just tape these all together. I do have two photos I'm going to be using of my oldest total gamer. He absolutely loves playing and mostly it is Madden football. It is, his life <laughs> is all about football. So I don't know. I just thought this collection was really fun. I might have actually taken photos just so I could use this collection. <laughs> um, they are you know they're always playing but it's not something I usually will take photos of um, but it is something you know in their life that I do want to document because it is a big hobby of theirs so now that I have that all done I am going to use this kind of pixelated paper and cut it down um, to add to the bottom I wanted to kind of just add another pattern um, and so I decided actually to cut it even shorter than the width of the white paper um and so i do have kind of now a border kind of around all edges of that as well i am going to then uh, cut this kind of strip as well it was just uh, kind of a scrap piece but i decided to add it to the top and just kind of I guess it even shortens the area even more now. So I am backing both of these photos. Uh, I am actually only going to double back the larger photo um, of my son looking straight on. I thought about doing the bottom photo as well and bringing in another pattern paper. Uh, I, it just, it would have been too busy, I think. And the pattern paper I was going to use was red and I just didn't feel like it matched very well. Um, so I decided against it and actually I kind of wasted backing that photo. However, if you look at the bottom on the kind of pixelated paper, I feel like it helps that photo stand out a little bit more. Um, it's kind of not lost in that pattern paper. So I'm not mad that I did it. Um, did I need to do it? Absolutely not. Uh, but I do like how it kind of stands out a little bit more. And when I did it, I didn't realize I would, I'm actually going to cover most of it up, unfortunately, too. So I guess really, I did kind of waste that piece of white paper. That's the sticker sheet for the collection. I kind of wanted to, I was looking for a title. So I went into the cut apart and found this big four by six cut apart um, that says level up. I wanted something that was uh, horizontal. And so that was the one that I kind of found that would kind of work. I liked how it had the controllers on that as well, but smaller. So I just trimmed that down quite a bit and then I'm going to back it with what I have left of the orange, um, just because I didn't want that to get lost on that pixelated paper. Uh, I felt like if I backed it, it would help it stand out a little bit more as well. So that is going to be my title. And then I did, I think I bought it at the um, convention as well, uh, the ephemera pack. Um, I, w I didn't know what to expect 
when I went to the convention and I was pleasantly surprised. So if you've not been to one, I highly suggest it if you can. There were some deals. Like I think I think the collections at Photo Play were four for twenty four. And then I think the ephemera packs were only two dollars. I did not expect the um really to have any sales. So I kind of, you know, just expected to kind of go in and have to pay full price. So I was pleasantly surprised. So now that I am kind of playing around with the ephemera, I'm really just trying to finalize uh, the pieces, I guess. So the top is all done. I did a heart and a controller and a little kind of flag with a saying on it and I really like how that kind of filled in a little bit of that white space not all of it at the top but I liked how that filled that in and then to the left I am going to use the console the headset since he's got the headset on and then just a fray sticker that says control freak I also added a couple of pieces down to the bottom right of the title uh, I just really liked the headset Especially because, like I said, he has the headset on and I feel like it's kind of a big focal point of the pictures. So I did include it in a couple of places. I was trying to find maybe some hearts or something, but instead I found these gold glitter gems and decided to use those. So I added one to each of the clusters um, as well as like the beginning of the title. And then decided I really kind of wanted to fill in that space, the white space to the right of the photo. So I found just a circular sticker that was kind of like the um, buttons on the controller and then a little flag that had um, game on I think or game over and then again I just added one of those glitter gems to finish off that so that is going to finish off this layout I will see if I can find this collection and link it down below for you guys but I hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time bye guys